Today I'm going to show you how to use AI to save money on your groceries. Smart move. And use AI generated recipes to find special ingredients. Don't overlook farmers markets. They can have great deals on fresh produce. We all know that groceries have gone up in price post pandemic. So nowadays you could save money and find alternative products that might be less expensive with the help of free AI chatbots like Microsoft Copilot. Sure thing. And Google Gemini. I know this might sound a little annoying, but some grocery shopping apps like the Safeway app, for example, have already begun implementing AI to help you find things in the store or online. So why not use it to your advantage? For this video, I'm going to use the free version of Microsoft Copilot to help me shop and find some deals. So let's get started with the first step, creating your grocery list. Go ahead and make your regular grocery shopping list along with how much it usually costs each week and feed it to the AI, but make sure to ask Copilot for suggestions on how to save money on your grocery items. So I have my regular Safeway grocery shopping list here that I put into the app every week. I went ahead and just copy and pasted it into a Google Doc. So now I'm just gonna copy and paste that into Microsoft Copilot. So I've copy and pasted my grocery item list into Copilot, along with some information asking it to give me suggestions for alternative products that might be cheaper than the products I usually buy. I also told it that I spend between $225 to $250 a week on groceries because I'm feeding four people and I have two young boys who can eat a lot. They are professional eaters. So I put all that information in, I'm gonna see what it tells me. See, man, I love that you're looking for ways to save when still feeding your family. Here are some strategies and swaps that can bring down your grocery bill. Buy in bulk. Larger packages of staples like rice, beans, and pasta tend to be cheaper per ounce. Opt for store brands. Many store brand items are just as good as the name brands, but cost significantly less. Shop sales and use coupons. I usually do that. I usually clip a bunch of deals before I go shopping. Frozen over fresh. Frozen fruits and vegetables are often cheaper and last longer. That's a good point. I like to buy a lot of frozen foods to make smoothies. DIY snacks. Instead of buying prepackaged snacks, make your own granola bars, popcorn, or trail mix. That one is kind of iffy because I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of that stuff. So it did create a cheaper alternatives table, which it shows kettle chips, store brand kettle chips, and then it shows like ground turkey, bulk ground turkey or ground chicken. It just kind of goes through my list and gives me some alternative ideas in a table format, which I think is really helpful and visually easy to follow. So these are some helpful tips that I would follow on my next grocery shop. I like how it put this table together. I thought that was super helpful. It did also provide me a link to this list. Let's see what that is. Oh, wow. So it sent me to this website at makehealthyrecipes.com with some lists of some cheaper and more healthy alternatives for some of the snacks that I put in there. It also sent me to the website Living on a Dime to feed a family of four for $200. So for my second prompt, I'm gonna tell Copilot where I usually do my grocery shopping, which is Safeway for the gasoline points and Trader Joe's in case the AI has recommendations for deals on the same products at a different store in my neighborhood. Absolutely. Here are some grocery stores in Roseville that might offer better deals or alternative products. Then it lists a few stores. Winco Foods, known for its bulk food section and lower prices. Save Mart offers weekly ads with discounts on fresh produce and meats. The Whole Foods Market, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get discounts on organic produce and meats. And then it also sent me links to Winco Foods, Save Mart, Rayleigh's and Nugget Markets in case I want to look up prices. So that's helpful. It did provide me with a list of grocery stores in Roseville, California, that it thinks would be good alternatives for different things on my grocery list. So, you know, maybe I'll check it out. That was helpful. Now I know that the Safeway near me has $5 Fridays, where select products are on sale for $5, and that includes salmon fillets. So I make sure to do my shopping on Fridays because of that sale, but I'm curious if Copilot knows about sales at different grocery stores in my neighborhood. I'm gonna ask Copilot, what is the best day to go grocery shopping and do you know of any upcoming or recurring sales at grocery stores nearby in Roseville? Let's see what it says. The best day to go grocery shopping is typically Wednesday. Okay, I didn't know that. Many stores release new weekly ads on Wednesdays, meaning you could take advantage of overlapping deals from the previous and current week. Additionally, stores restock shelves midweek, so you'll find fresh produce and fully stocked mm -hmm. items. 
And it did give me a list of weekly ads from each store, Save Mart, Whole Foods, Nugget Markets. So it gave me some helpful advice about Wednesdays, and then it did provide me with the latest deals at five local grocery stores. I will check it out and see if I can find any better deals. And maybe I'll start shopping on Wednesdays instead of Fridays, but I do love my $5 Fridays, $5 salmon filet, can't beat that. Now I like some homemade cheese enchiladas, so I'm gonna ask Copilot to create a recipe and give me suggestions on where to find the best ingredients in my neighborhood. Enter homemade cheese enchiladas recipe. These cheesy, saucy enchiladas are simple to make and packed with flavor. Uh, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, quarter cup of all-purpose flour. So first it gives me all the ingredients, then it gives me the instructions, very detailed instructions, and then it gives me a list on where to buy. So it's telling me the Walmart Superstore, Nuggets Market, Whole Foods Market, and Save Mart. And I can go check out their latest sales. So very helpful, it gave me a very comprehensive ingredient list, instructions, and provided me a few places to buy it along with links to their website to find the latest deal. So I'd say that is very helpful. Thank you very much, Copilot. Absolutely. Now I'm a big fan of ordering groceries in the Safeway app and then picking them up in the parking lot. But I wonder if it's cheaper just to walk around the grocery store with a shopping cart. So I'll ask Copilot, are the products in the Safeway app the same price as the products in the store? Will I save money by shopping in person? Great question. Generally shopping in person tends to be cheaper than using the Safeway app for a pickup or delivery. Many grocery stores, including Safeway, increase prices on online orders to cover the cost of shopping and convenience. And then it gives me some helpful hints and information about the price markups if you're shopping in the app versus shopping in the store. So that's good to know. Maybe if I have time, I will walk around the store with a shopping cart, and save a couple bucks. Those are just some of the ways you can use AI to save money on your groceries. It's worth mentioning that AI chatbots are not always the most trustworthy when it comes to accessing the most up-to-date information. Copilot may not know about a sale that's going on down the street or it might get some pricing wrong because we all know that prices fluctuate at the grocery store. Sure thing. Let me know in the comments if you've ever used an AI to shop or find a deal online and subscribe to How To Do It All for more how-to videos like this one and thanks for watching.